NBC Thank You. Two proposals aiming to lower your electric bills are waiting on approval. This all stems from the failed nuclear power plant project. Dominion Energy wants to merge with Scana, refund its customers, but continue charging them for the failed project. The state Senate wants to immediately cut that rate. News 2's consumer investigator Libba Holland in studio. She heard from Dominion leaders today and breaks it down for us. Libba? Dominion's Daniel Weekly is touring the state to explain how the energy company will help SCENG customers bear the burden of the failed VC summer nuclear reactors. He spoke today to the Berkeley, Charleston, Dorchester County Council of Governments, and his presentation explained how customers would benefit from a merger. The gist of the agreement comes to this. Customers would get refunds within 90 days of the deal closing, about $1,000 for the average customer. The rates would remain the same as they are now at an 18% increase. But customers' bills would be lowered 7%, and that saves about $10 a month for the average customer. And Dominion says that rate hike will be at zero within the next 20 years, a shorter window of time compared to the 40 to 60 years that Scana says it needed. Some in today's meeting still have reservations about this agreement. I think that uh, we need to, to, to tread softly and, and approach this with a business like mine. Another option on the table comes from the state Senate. It recently passed a bill that would lower the rate increase by 13 percent. But Dominion Energy executives are not a fan of that. They have said that they would change their proposal if the bill becomes law. One thing the Senate said that made sense to me is let's not knee jerk to political pandering because of past problems. And if they want to take a little time to make sure that whatever route forward is in the best interest of all South Carolinians, so be it. The proposed Dominion merger has been approved by regulators in Georgia, but it still needs the approval of several other commissions, including the Public Service Commissions of South Carolina and North Carolina. We'll continue to keep you posted on this throughout the week. Live in the studio, Libba Holling, Count on Two. Libba, thanks a lot. A lawsuit over the city.